Brothers and sisters, every uh, sincere Muslim is very anxious with regards to giving da'wah to non-Muslims. And he's even more anxious to convert somebody to Islam. Literally every Muslim knows that if Allah guides with you or through you one person, you'll go to heaven and this is better for you than the entire life and what it contains, than the red camels. Everybody memorizes that. But not everybody is aware of the techniques of giving da'wah. The art and the methodology of giving da'wah. This is an art that we teach in courses after courses. There is faqh of da'wah 1, faqh of da'wah 2, faqh of da'wah. I mean, it's, it's a long process. There is uh, simply a simple way of uh, approaching people and telling them about the oneness of Allah via Surah Al-Ikhlas. قُلُهُ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدْ لَمْ يَرِدُ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ But do you think that everybody you're going to speak to have the same level of, uh, of, you, uh, of understanding of yours? Maybe lower, maybe higher. Maybe he's highly educated and more sophisticated. Maybe he's a philosopher, which is the most difficult because now you're going to be speaking about facts and he will be speaking about hypothetical theories. Well, you know? So da'wah is an art. I cannot tell you in, in, in five minutes or in one hour, okay, tell him this and this and this and that. This is not fair. You have to study specially if this is the case of a person who is living and working with you for quite some long time, in this case, you have to have a plan. But along with this plan, you have to understand the most important fact. The fact is presented in this verse. إِنَّكَ لَا تَهْدِي مَنْ أَحْبَبْتْ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ يَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءْ When you say, I cannot convince him, I want to convince him. Your role is to deliver the message. With regards to convincing and guidance, it's in his hand. Uh-huh. Not in the hand of a human or an angel. Not even in the hand of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If it was up to Prophet Muhammad, he wanted the entire mankind to believe in God. And that was his mission. But your task is, in one word, to be a role model. Look at what you just said. He said he's a non-Muslim. He's not practicing any religion, just... Uh, a combination, a cocktail mm. of religions, which of course is no religion. In the Dina and Allah Islam, any religion other than Islam, even if it takes out of Islam, uh, you know, a few years ago, the American ambassador in, uh, to, to Pakistan uh, decided uh, to fast the month of Ramadan uh, with Muslims. What does this signify? Nothing. Fast. Maybe it's a, a way of losing weight, uh, regulating your diet political move, regardless. Mm. But in order to fast and to have your fasting been accepted, you have to accompany that with belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You just said about your friend or your colleague that he's hard worker, he's sincere, he's uh, very uh, organized. You mean you describe him some good traits. You're impressed. He impressed you with his manners. And that's why you wanted to crown all of that with Islam. If Muslims, if Muslims do da'wah via sitin, their own mother, being good in the work, in the street, in their dealing with others, especially in business transaction. Fuad, Ibn Kathir, may Allah have mercy on him. In his beautiful book, he mentioned that, how did Islam spread in India? How many Muslim troops have invaded India? None, zero. Islam spread in India to the point that the king in India at that time decided to build a mosque for Muslims due to their honesty in their trade. Their stability in making business. They maintain the stability of the country, of this vast country. And they were traveling from the peninsula to India and back and forth to do business and trade. They impressed everybody. And this is how Indians came to accept Islam and Islam is spread in the Indian subcontinent. Nowadays, in most cases, what offends people what makes people who are ready to accept Islam reluctant is the behavior of somebody there who is misrepresenting Islam. So in one word, the best way of giving da'wah is to be a role model yourself. To be honest, never lie, to be truthful, trustworthy, to work hard. And whenever it is a prayer time, you drop everything and you offer your prayer. And you show happiness and delight and a cheerful smile when you meet everybody, even if this person is an unbeliever. These are symptoms of the Muslims which would impress others. You're not doing that to impress anybody. Rather, 
to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accordingly, that would bring to the heart of others the reality of this day.